everyone, this is Joseph from Forest Tech Reviews, aka your favorite Cajun tech reviewer, back with another video today. Today's video, yes, I want to give you an update on my experiences with the Galaxy Z Flip 5 for after using it for about a week now. And I just want to go over some things I like, some things I'm not liking about it, and just my overall experiences with the device. This is this camera I'm shooting in 4k at 60 frames per second I do not have an external mic so it's just the the mics on the phone and the camera on the phone so y'all let me know how does everything look how does sound how's the stabilization because it's just you know hooked up to my windshield but overall I am enjoying my experiences with the Z Flip 5 since I had the Motorola Razr Plus, it really, you know, put me into the minds of flips. I like the size of them, and it's just, I don't know, really enjoy them. Now, let's talk about the display on here. You have a beautiful panel. I think it's, it's a 6.7 inch 1080p dynamic AMOLED with 100, up to 120 hertz refresh rate. And it's just a great Samsung panel that you get with this device and now you add the cover display which is a 720 panel but it's a what 3.2 inch panel 3.4 inch panel which is a lot bigger and you get a lot of more functionality out of that cover display that is the main upgrade for this phone and it's been great man i love using that external display you use that one a lot more than what you used to and I'm glad I waited for that to be updated because it's so more it's so much more useful than than the other one performance overall with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor for Galaxy it whatever your Snapdragon did with these phones and with the Snapdragon it changes the whole makeup of the phone the performance is good everything runs smooth playing games on it watching youtube videos all that no stuff that you normally do is great the battery life has been really good even with the 3700 milliamp hour battery it has been really good with the device the speakers on here the dual speakers are good i mean they what do you expect i mean are they the best are they the best of the best? Are they X on 7 like good? No. But they're good. I mean, you can watch videos, YouTube channels, Netflix, not have a problem. You just want to make sure you have Dolby Atmos turned on. And for the gaming, you turn that on too for the gaming. And you are on point. You have a great set of speakers with this device. Using it as an everyday phone, like making phone calls, texting using the everyday apps like Facebook, Instagram, no problems there, no issues. The overall build, I do like the overall build of this phone. The new hinge, how it closes and there's no gap. That is like a major upgrade to for this phone. And it just, it just looks better. You know, without that gap, it just, it, it plays my games, which is like not 100% better, but it looks 100% better type of thing. So you gotta love what they did with the hinge. And it's strong and fluid too. When when I compare it to my Motorola like hinge and that phone, you can just tell the build quality is just a little bit different with the Z Flip 5. So I'm gonna do a comparison between both of those phones coming up. So the hinge, the overall build is good too on here. I do like the software on here. The, one UI has been really good with Android and with Android 13. Samsung has so many features that it takes a while to get to know this phone, get to know what you can do and what you can't do with this phone. And you know, you just have to play around with it, try the phone out. Hopefully the sun is not bad when I turn. And it's just it makes a big deal with this phone. Now, I haven't heard anybody else complain about, as far as the price goes, I think we're used to $9.99. You can get a lot of deals from 
Samsung, you got a lot of deals from T-Mobile with this device. So no one really complaining about the price. I'm, I mean, I, I don't have a complaint with it. I think I'm getting it overall for like two, uh, $199 or something is what I'm gonna pay T-Mobile for this device. So no complaints there. The one complaint I did and I hope, I mean, I have normal complaints. I have my normal complaints with Samsung's One UI too. I wish they had a hard, I mean, a vertically app drawer, which I know you can down, uh, download Good Lock and you can get the the vertical app drawer, but I don't like downloading Good Lock. The other complaint is that cover display. It is great, but you have to download Good Lock to get the most of most out of it. And you can check out my video, I did that. And you can put any app, but Samsung should have that built in One UI. You know, they should really have that built into the One UI already and and have that as a feature. Now, the sun is bright. Hopefully the camera is not too burnt out. I mean, too like blurry or something. I think it is, but hopefully when I turn, it would get better. And then the other complaint, I wish Samsung would put the best of the best for the cameras on these phones. I mean, on the on the flip and the fold, they don't put the best of the best cameras. They leave that for like the S23 lineup. And maybe they want to cut the price down some. And, and maybe they want to, you know, cut that away some, the price of it. But I wish that they would put the top line of cameras on here for these devices. Now, look, before people were like, oh, you don't know what you're talking about, or you're crazy, the cameras on here are good. I mean, they're not horrible. They're not bad cameras at all, but they're not the best. If you compare them to the S23 Ultra, you can notice a difference. Now, they are better with the Snapdragon Gen 2 processor, but they're still not, the hardware is not as good as the S23 Ultra. I mean, you, if you want to argue that point, we can have a friendly discussion in the comments. The other thing I noticed too with Samsung, I like I said, I love the overall build of the hinge, but the crease is more noticeable on this phone than say my my Motorola Razor Plus. When you rub rub your finger across the display, you can actually feel the the crease more than you would say on the Motorola phone. So that's designed, the, the hinge is great, the close is great, but they still need to figure out with the bend and glass to, to make that crease a little bit less noticeable. And now we're back to normal, but y'all let me know how this looks, how does that sound, how does baby girl sound. But I'm enjoying the phone overall. If you like this type of video, I do vlogs like this for, you know, updates all the time. Y'all let me know if y'all like this type of video. Let, let me know if you don't like it either but overall i am enjoying my experience am i glad i picked up the device yes Do i love the display yes i love the speakers battery life all of that is good but stay tuned to the channel if anything changes i will update y'all probably weekly monthly i will be having this phone for a while stay tuned i will be doing some comparisons with the cameras too but if you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet also, follow me on Twitter at Forwards Reviews. Become part of the BAM Nation. And until next time, peace. I'm out of here. Y'all have a great day.